Good day, everybody. I do apologize about the mess in here. Uh, I just did a pour, which is on my right here. And I'm just collecting some of the, the drips. The colors, oh, excuse me. I choked on my own saliva. Um, the colors that I've used here are port wine and um, gold. Pretty much, that's uh, that's all that I used in this paint, which was like a fixer upper. And I've got quite a bit of um, resin left and pigment left, and I just wanted to do something. So I just want to quickly clean up the area, real quick. These are just some of the pigments that were left over, and a little bit of resin there. And uh, I've got a little space. Here, where I'm going to lay my little plastic Ziploc bag and hopefully it won't stick to it. It shouldn't because it hasn't in the past. So let's just make sure that it sticks, that it uh, doesn't stick. And I'm going to do a sculpture. Let's see, this is the first time for me. I've done kind of sculptures, but nothing like uh, this way. And I've been watching Sue Finley, and if you don't know Sue Finley and you're not familiar with her channel, please go and watch her because she does some uh, some crazy, amazing sculptures. And um, I'm sure that I can't do anything like like what she does, but let's give it a go. So. In the meantime, watch this video, and then after you've watched this video, and liked it, and commented, then go and watch Sue Finley, and then like and comment hers, because I'm sure that you're going to absolutely love what she does. So, got a little bit of clear resin left. I'm going to use some electric blue, just because uh, I love it. About 10% going in there. 10% woohoo yes you can you put 10% in there no problem at all so give that a bit of a stir like I said apologize about the mess everywhere and about the rush but look at that blue okay check it out so make sure that you get all of that off there and I've got some molten gold don't need a lot of this stuff just a little bit is plenty and I've got some of the new where is it now it's gone oh, here it is port wine it's a new pigment new mix so I've got quite a bit of that so let's go this is going to be really really interesting let's have a look what we can do maybe I'll even do it because you can't really torch this a lot because it's plastic so I haven't really worked it out what I'm going to do okay let's just do a like an oval kind of shape here see what we can make get rid of all of that kind of ovalish and I'm going to scoop all of it this um, port wine is uh, quite an amazing color if you love the reds deep reds and if you tone it down a little bit and not mix as much just put like one or two percent it turns into a really really pretty pretty kind of pink so that's that one done and I've got some that I've scraped up from the bottom it's got a little bit of uh, gold in it Pour that in the middle there and I will put some gold in the middle as well that one's done go around with the gold and this um, electric blue is quite a contrasting color because this is quite a solid matte color and then that blue and then the gold obviously very metallic and the blue quite a, a shimmery metallic as well put some in the middle like that might just do some swirls afterwards see how we go 
and then here comes the bullet. Now this is going to be interesting. I'm going to go around it with a blue. And I can feel that resin hardening and uh, warming, which is normal, normal reaction. When it starts to set, it gets quite warm. Maybe, maybe, like that, just like that, and just drizzle whatever I have left in there, and then maybe just scrape it all up. When the sun hits this color, if you like blues, you're going to love this blue. give it a little bit of shape don't know what's gonna what it's gonna turn out looking like but you never know and if you're watching this video it just means that it worked out and it got uploaded and I'm happy with it otherwise you wouldn't be seeing it because I hate to post anything that's you know not working unless I'm trying to teach people what not to do but that's uh, something else again okay so that's that all done and I'm going to get some gold around the blue as well and I might just give it a little bit of hair dryer because the hair dryer is not as hot as the heat gun or the torch because I don't want to melt my plastic and boy I'm hoping that I'm really recording this yep okay cool I reckon some of the white would have looked good in the um, in the center of, of this with the red so I'm just kind of really flicking this gold over that blue and I'm going to do the same here whatever I've got left I want lots of it in this red because this red is just looking very very deep and kind of plain at this in this kind of piece that's what I'm doing so just going to swirl it a little bit Just to get that red mingling with the blue. And I'm just going to go over it again because I've missed some bits. Some of the gold mixing with the blue there turned into green. Which looks kind of cool. I get excited when I do new things. You know, it's not perfectly shaped or anything, but it uh, looks okay. And I might need to trim some some bits afterwards. And I have to be careful not to fiddle too much because I tend to do that a lot. As you know, those who know me know that. Now, make some, get some gems and pop them on the outside. Sue does that a lot. But before I do that, I will hit it with a little bit of uh, heat from my hairdryer and from up high because I don't want this stuff flying everywhere. From up way up high. Actually, 
actually. I might even get it with a little bit of um, heat gun. Just very, very quickly. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let me go get some gems or some glitter or something like that and I'll be back in a second. Oh, am I back? Yeah, okay, I'm back now. So, try to get rid of this glare a little bit. Hopefully. No, it doesn't want to go away, does it? Okay, so it's all right. Um, I've just got a one single cell appear there out of nowhere. So I thought that looked pretty cool. So I'm just going to go around and put some extra drops of this gold everywhere. And this gold has been mixed a little bit with a red. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. But it just looks pretty cool. Just like that. Everywhere where I feel that it needs it. Now, that red maybe looks a bit brown from up there. Um, that's just the lighting. Can't help that. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue. Oh, I've got quite a few drops of blue left. I'm going to pop them in the middle here. And create some really cool kind of eyes. So I thought I'd speed this up a little bit because it tends to carry on a little bit too long. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just dripping a little bit of that electric blue and then I'm going to be adding some of the gold into the, the blue. Just like a little puddle pour, just a, on, a, on a much smaller scale. So that's all I'm doing here, just creating a little bit of uh, interest in this piece. And I'm sorry that it looks really dark, but you will see at the end of the video that uh, it's it's uh, it's quite a bright kind of uh, piece, and it turned out really well. And while I have this chance of uh, you know jibber jabbering, uh, I might just mention again the art retreat in Houston this year in July. It's going to be from the 21st until the 28th of July. And uh, so Drew Harvey has uh, really organized a beautiful, beautiful event. I will be one of the artists presenting Lares pigments and doing tutorials. There will be meet and greet. There will also be um, Frankie Morrison, who will also do some, some pieces with us and uh, it's just going to be a wonderful wonderful retreat and you don't have to stay for the whole week i know it you know it's a bit hard to to get the time away from your family and you might want to you know plan a holiday or something like that but you can stay for a day or two you can choose which one you want to do and um let's just meet i think it'll be a wonderful event And a little bit in there. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm back now. And I've got some of my um, glitter. This is ultra fine glitter. It's almost like powder. And this is a holo uh, holographic glitter. I'm just going to try and sprinkle some on the edges without making it too... Uh, obvious kind of, I just want it to look more natural and a little bit more, I don't need a lot to create an effect and I'm very gently moving my finger and my thumb against each other so I don't get any of those uh, kind of purposely kind of jaggedy lines I just want want it to look as as natural as possible a few bits that I've kind of missed and they will sink in they look pretty cool I hope 
we'll see. Usually these random things work out really well. So now that I've done that, I think it's just really, really cool on the edges. But what I want to do is, in my spatula, I need something small. Because I need to, I need something really small. Something I need pointy, small and pointy, and I don't have anything here that's small and pointy like this. Okay, so I'm going to have to use this spatula. This is the pointiest thing I have at, at the moment. And just scoop up a little bit, just a tiny little bit, and see if I can pop it in here. Oh, no. Right in there. See what I mean? It's just not pointy enough. Right oh. And it spreads all by itself. Nope, that didn't want to work. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Here's what we do. I'm gonna dip my stick in there and here we go. That worked. You always gotta find a way that will work. So I need a little bit inside as well. Can't have it too glittery on the outside and nothing on the inside. Just adding a little bit on the inside. And sure, feel a few of the little particles flying flying out. So that's fine. Ooh, look how that opened up beautifully. Now, we're going to do this. Let's play with this a little bit too. Wow, look at that. Ooh, I hope it stays like that. Just interacting with that glitter powder. And making it look cool. Right. Now, the edges a little bit, I just want to, ooh, edges don't want to do it, but it's alright, just going around the edges. And now I'm just going to leave it alone, if I want to, I can go a little bit more and just if I think there's a bit too much of that glitter, I can just keep going like this and moving it around so it doesn't look too glittery. But I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful. Okay, let's leave it now and I'll be back when, in about a couple of hours. See what it did and what it looks like. Very shimmery. G'day guys, so we are back. I'm sorry, I was too impatient and I had to um, unmold my little creation, but I'll pull it out for you. I just popped it in this bag because I don't like handling it too much with my hands. It came off real easy and it, it was flat, but it's still workable. This was done last night or yesterday afternoon and I didn't come to it until this morning it's still very flexible and I think it's because it's quite cool here it gets uh, pretty cold in the studio and uh, you, you can kind of get away um, with with it with without uh, it going too hard on you one thing I had a real big crease here so you see the, the back side is quite matte where that red was um, so I'm not happy about that because that crease is just such a pain um, anywho, I will, that's just because I had a crease in here. And I don't want to be touching it too much with my hands, but look how beautiful and glittery that is. I don't even know if you can see all that holographic. It just looks so amazing. 
So I decided to pop it inside the bag and play with it inside the bag so that I'm not touching it with my fingers. And I don't know, I just don't want to mess with it and leave fingerprints and stuff. So I've just got paper towel roll and a toilet roll. Um, uh, so I'm going to use them for my shape. Just because I want to... Well, when I started, I, I, I thought of doing a trinket like uh, Sue did. But then I thought I'll do something a little bit different, slightly different. Actually, I'll swap these. Pop that one over here. And you can play with it. It's quite... See, I can push it down here. And you can just kind of create whatever you want. So I just wanted to create something that will maybe hold look nice on the in the in the center as a centerpiece of a table uh, with a flower in it or you can put some um, serviettes or napkins inside there I think it would just look really pretty and because these edges are real glittery with that holographic I want to be able to show them so I want to be able to have them curved okay guys and girls Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, obviously, I wasn't happy with my other arrangement. Look how still it, how flexible it is. Mainly because of one of the creases, which is this one here. It it seems to crease there whenever when I had it the other way. It just didn't want to give in that area there, so I wasn't happy at all. Okay. So I decided, why not go this way? Because it's quite a pretty design. Why why hide all of that? Why not try and make it kind of sit this way? And it can still be a nice display for, for my napkins. And it will show exactly what I want to show. So that way, if I can have these kind of Lappy bits. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry if that sounds a bit wrong, but I, I don't know what else to call it. If I could have them sitting down like this, I'm using my fingers now, and I've gone against everything that I've said before. If I can have them kind of sitting there and, and showing off nicely, like that, and this one, and that will work really well on napkins. And I just have to have something kind of heavy to sit in in the middle so I've, I've got another ziploc bag these are great because you know nothing really sticks to them so if i could have that in in the center there like that it's a bit hard to see what i'm doing now i can't even see what i'm doing um, um i'm kind of winging it i need to find something heavy to sit inside there just got to make sure i can see what i'm doing first Maybe even, all right, let me go and get something heavy and, and pop in there. Couldn't find anything in a hurry, but not to worry, I'm going to make something now. So I want it to be about that wide. Need something squarish about that wide. Let's go around the other way. Now I've already got one bent there, which is good. And what I'm going to do is just going to score it a little bit so that I can bend it. And then I'm going to cut it over here. So I won't be needing that. In fact, even this is a bit too long. So get rid of it. I don't know. It saves me going around and looking for things. So that the way I'm going to make that heavy is I'm going to fill it with some gemstones and stuff. Because I know that that's heavy. And I'm just going to sticky tape this bits here. I do apologize for fiddling too much. I'm just trying to be a little bit quick because I've got some work to do as I do. Very very busy and I just want to get this done. I didn't think it was going to take me that long. There we go. So that is not going anywhere now. Let's get my thingy back. Um, plastic. Wait, oh here it is. Still very flexible, 
which is pretty good. Um, okay, here we go. Put it in the middle, like that. And then, pop in some of these gemstones. I'm just going to put the whole bag in there, like that. Make sure I can do that up above. I'll be able to fit three in there. Squeeze it a little bit. It doesn't matter what you put in there. You can put marbles, whatever you've got. This is just what I have in here. Get down there. And then... Oh, yeah, that's heavy. About 200 grams in each one of these. And that's going to sit beautifully in there. So you should have thought of that before. So now that I've got that done, okay. Now, am I on? Yes. Just checking, just checking. Here we go. Lifting time. Let's lift this baby up. Still want to have that. I'm still being mm -hmm. pretty kind of gentle with it. I don't want to be too rough. Okay. Because I've been fiddling with it for so long now. I'm just going to squeeze it down the bottom a bit. Down here to make sure that I get that square. And then press it down. And then, then we're going to do this. And there where that crease was is giving me a little bit of grief. So that's all good. I'm just going to pull that down with this plastic. Like this. Here we go. Don't need it to be too high. But it's still nice. I'm sorry my head was in the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, some tape and tape the take the, uh, the sides to this cardboard because um, it's sort of pulling away so soft still so it's still pulling away that's what we're gonna do just take the sides at this stage I'm not worried about this being the bottom of it I'm just gonna go ahead with the tape and it should stick beautifully there's so many things you can do. Now I'm going to move it that way so I actually get the thing. Pick it up. Ooh, it's heavy. Just want to make sure that it sticks and it stays there. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. Here's a big piece of tape. Thank God for these things. They're really great. And now push it in. Like that. I also got to make sure that that's, uh, the other side is not... It's about right. Yep, that's it. It's about right. And now nice and tight. Pull it nice and tight. And there. Now that should not be kind of opening up like that. There we go. Yep, looks good. Now this side needs to come down. Nice and gentle. And I need something underneath there to hold that in place now. And for that, I can reuse. Okay, so I continue to try and shape this piece. I'm just adding some of that... Um, the toilet uh, roll underneath there and sticky taping around it just to hold it in place and if you're an Aussie you will remember Guido Hatzis from years ago he did a couple of CDs and he's a really funny guy I do recommend that you go look him up Guido Hatzis he says that you know his uncle said that that there's nothing sticky tape can't fix so I'm using a lot of sticky tape here just taping this around and holding it in place and it turns out really bloody marvelous and I'm real happy with it 
but uh, it was a bit of a fiddle so I'm kind of fiddling from one side to the other and I do forget to pop the other paper towel roll uh, underneath the other side but I will do that shortly okay forgot to pop this bit in there what happens when I'm in a hurry okay so now it should give me that really nice nice um oh get under there tuck that underneath there there we go ah now it's good Okay, we are back. Time to unmold. It's only been one day, 24 hours, and I'm going to pull out my, oh, I ripped the bag, pull out my, my gems, and the cardboard, let's see, ideally, I would keep it for longer, because it is quite thin, the skin was quite thin, so, but I'm too impatient and I want to see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Pretty. So I've got some sticky tape stuck all the way. And see how nice and flat that is there? So it's not going to be wobbly on the table. What's going on here? There we go. Okay. Sticky tape is a bit tough. There goes that. I just made sure I put a lot of sticky tape in there <laughs> to hold it in place. All right, so that's coming off real easy, which is a good thing. And here it is. You can see all the shimmeries from that um, holographic. So what I'll do is, when I do my photos, I'll pop in some... Um, serviettes in there or napkins so that you can see what it looks like and that's the bottom of it quite matte that's why I wanted to hide most of that this bit there is nice and shiny but uh, it looks quite nice it's all twisted like I wanted it this one could go in a bit more and it's still got a bit of give so I might just uh, kind of hold it in place there for a little while maybe I'll get an elastic band or something put around it to hold it in place but that's it for now so thank you all for watching hope you give this a go and uh, let me know what you think bye for now